Mitsubishi Outlander vs Hyundai Santa Fe vs Kia Sorento. We see if the updated diesel Mitsubishi Outlander is a better all-rounder than the Hyundai Santa Fe and Kia Sorento. If you need a car with seven seats, there are two avenues to explore, a conventional MPV or a seven-seat SUV, such as the facelift Mitsubishi Outlander. While there are more expensive off-roaders, the new road tax rules that arrived on April 1st mean buyers spending over £40,000 on a new car now have to pay a £310 tax supplement every year. Big 4x4s that slip in under this threshold, offering space and premium features, are going to prove very popular. Mitsubishi has added more kit and improved the Outlander's specification, so you get a lot for your money with the top spec 4 version we're testing, yet it still undercuts the rivals it's up against in this test. The Hyundai Santa Fe has also been updated, with a few design tweaks to sharpen up the looks and the addition of extra safety kit on some models. It still shares much of its mechanical makeup with the Kia Sorento, though. The Kia hasn't been upgraded and it's the most expensive choice. However, it offers the most space on paper and plenty of luxury. The question is, which family SUV should your money go on? Mitsubishi Outlander Model, Mitsubishi 2.2 Diddy Outlander 4 Automatic Price, £33,379 Engine 2.2 liter 4 CYL turbo diesel, 148 bhp. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 9.5 seconds. Test economy, 43.6 mpg slash 9.6 mpl. CO2, 154 g slash km. Annual road tax, 185 pounds. To bring specifications into line with the popular Outlander FEB plug in hybrid, and give a more luxurious feel, Mitsubishi has tweaked the regular Outlander diesel range and added more equipment. We're testing the top spec Outlander 4 2.2 liter diesel automatic, which costs £33,739. While the Outlander's chassis is far from perfect, the extra focus Mitsubishi has placed on comfort as part of this update seems to have worked to a degree. It's the lightest car on test at 1,610 kg, but there's enough mass that the damping is acceptably fluid on smoother roads and motorways. Coupled with the relatively hushed diesel engine, the Outlander is quiet enough. However, bumpy surfaces highlight the deficiencies of the chassis, and there's still a lack of stability particularly from the rear through bends. Bumps send a thump through the back axle and some kickback through the steering. Rev the engine and refinement also takes a hit as the unit gets noisier. Part of the problem is the 6-speed automatic box, it's slow to respond and gear changes are sluggish. There's not much point using the steering wheel shift paddles as a result. The reluctant transmission also hampers performance. Although the Outlander's 148bhp 2.2-liter turbo diesel trails its competitors, the 360nm of torque is made very low down from just 1,500 rpm, and the near 400 kg weight saving over the Hyundai means that there's adequate pace on offer. However, in the sprint from 0 to 60 mph the gearbox's slow shifts held the car back, it took 9.5 seconds at the track. We found it better to drive smoothly and keep a lid on speed, here the Outlander feels more at home. And at least that strong low down torque and slow steering make it a decent tow car. Testers notes, cars like these will likely be used for towing. All three have a 2000 kg towing limit, while the trio also offer features such as trailer assist to help with stability when pulling. Hyundai Santa Fe Model, Hyundai Santa Fe Premium 7C 2.2 Credi Auto Price £35,745. Engine, 2.2 liter 4 CYL turbo diesel, 197 bhp. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 9.1 seconds. Test economy, 35.8 mpg slash 7.9 mpl. CO2, 174 g slash km. Annual road tax, 
210 pounds. If you want an automatic 7-seat SUV, Hyundai Santa Fe, updated last year, looks fairly pricey in comparison with the Mitsubishi, with the cheapest version starting from £35,745. But this nets you a premium model, which counters its more expensive list price by offering even more kit than the Outlander. That's the version we test to find out if it's worth the extra although the car in our pictures is a top-spec premium SE. The Santa Fe is the heaviest car on test, and it feels it from behind the wheel. While it's comfortable enough cruising around, the body rolls a lot in bends, and the drawback of this extra weight is that the engine's performance isn't as strong. The 2.2-liter diesel produces 197 bhp and 440 nm of torque, but it needs it to get the Hyundai's bulk moving. As a result, at our test track the Santa Fe sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.1 seconds only 4 tenths faster than the less powerful Mitsubishi. However, the weight means the car rides pretty well, with a relaxed motion to the way it deals with bumps and ridges in the road. Just don't ask the Santa Fe to carry too much speed through a corner, because you'll find it quickly loses its composure. In normal conditions there's an acceptable level of poise. Engine refinement is similar to the Outlanders, but the Santa Fe's gearbox is more responsive. It's not comparable with something like a Skoda Kodiak's dual-clutch automatic, but it's less hesitant than the Mitsubishi's transmission, and this helps with performance. Testers notes, the styling tweaks for the latest Santa Fe are subtle. The biggest change was under the skin, with the addition of new safety kit. It's just a pity it's only available on top-spec cars. Kia Sorento Model Kia Sorento KX3 2.2 Credi Auto Price, £37,550 Engine, 2.2-liter 4CYL turbo diesel, 197bhp 0 to 60 miles per hour, 9.0 seconds Test economy, 35.6 mpg 7.8 mpl CO2, 174g km Annual road tax, £210. At £37,550, the Kia Sorento KX3 automatic is the most expensive choice here, although our pictures show a top-spec KX4 model. We know there are plenty of positives about the car, but are they enough to look past the price tag as it lines up against the new Mitsubishi and its Hyundai cousin? Despite its larger dimensions, the Kia is actually 50 kilograms lighter than the Hyundai. This meant it was the fastest car on test from 0 to 60 miles per hour, taking 9.0 seconds. With 197 bhp and 441 nm of torque available, it was also the quickest between 50 and 70 miles per hour, posting a time of 9.7 seconds. This was 1 second faster than the Mitsubishi and 1.2 seconds up on the Hyundai. However, the Kia was marginally slower than the Santa Fe in our other performance tests, even though it had the edge over the Outlander. For many buyers, speed won't be as important as comfort, and here the Kia offers exactly what you want from a large family SUV. The raised ride height means there's a good level of suspension travel, and when this is combined with the forgiving damping, the Sorento rides all but the worst bumps with a nice level of poise. The trade-off is that it's not the most nimble car, but at least the light steering provides a sense of agility you don't get from the heavier steering in the Hyundai. Refinement is also good, and at 70 miles per hour on the motorway, there's not much road, wind, or engine noise. If you do rev the motor harder, you get a diesel grumble from under the bonnet, but it's not too bad. The gearbox is similar to the Santa Fe's in that there's not much point in using the manual mode. It's not the swiftest shifting unit, either, but around town it slips changes through smoothly. Testers notes, Kia's models have become more expensive, but even though the Gulf in list price seems large, the Sorento feels worth the extra. It's easily the most upmarket car here. Verdict. First place, Kia Sorento. You have to pay for it in this company, 
but the Kia takes victory, thanks to its quality, flexibility, and ease of use. It resists depreciation well, which helps offset the higher price, and for those buying on finance, the monthly cost is worth it. The Sorento isn't as efficient as the Outlander, but it has its rivals beaten in every other respect. It's just a pity its infotainment unit isn't more modern. Second place, Hyundai Santa Fe. The seven-seat Santa Fe is still a competitive SUV and offers a good balance of equipment and refinement. However, it's not as well finished as the Sorento nor as practical as the Outlander. It feels heavy and lethargic to drive, plus it doesn't offer a running costs advantage over the Kia, which is why it gets beaten by its sister model here. Third place, Mitsubishi Outlander. It will be the cheapest car to buy and run, but that's only half the story for the new Outlander. While it delivers acceptable performance and practicality, despite the updates to the range to bring it into line with the FEV plug-in hybrid, there's still a big quality gap to the Hyundai and Kia especially. The car doesn't drive as nicely and isn't quite as refined as its Korean rivals, either. Other options for similar money. New, Skoda Kodiak SEL 2.0 TDI 190 DSG. Price, £32,795. Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL. 187 bhp. The Skoda Kodiak makes all three of our test cars look expensive. In seven seat SEL DSG Auto 4x4 trim, it offers a higher quality cabin, stronger efficiency, plenty of space, and is even better to drive. It's our favorite large family SUV. Used Land Rover Discovery Sport TD4 Auto House. Price £35,000. Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL, 178 bhp. A budget of 35,000 pounds will get you a nearly new Discovery Sport with a later Ingenium diesel in well-equipped house trim. It may not be as spacious in the third row as this trio, but it offers better quality, more off-road ability and badge appeal. Figures. Kia Sorento KX3 2.2 Criti Auto. Hyundai Santa Fe Premium 7C 2.2 Criti Auto. Pound 37,550 slash pound 38,145. Pound 35,745 slash pound 36,435. Pound 33,739 slash pound 34,289. Residual value, after 3 YRS slash 30,000. Pound 17,874 slash 47.6%. Pound 17,050 slash 47.7%. Pound 14,876 slash 44.1%. Depreciation. 19,676 pounds. 18,695 pounds. 18,863 pounds. Annual tax liability STD slash higher rate. Pound 2,529 slash pound 5,059. Pound 2,407 slash pound 4,813. Pound 2,010 slash pound 4,020. Annual fuel cost, 12K slash 20K miles. Pound 1,871 slash pound 3,119. Pound 1,861 slash pound 3,101. Pound 1,528 slash pound 2,547. Ins. Group slash quote slash road tax band slash cost. 26 slash pound 1,043 slash h slash pound 210. 27 slash pound 1,090 slash h slash pound 210. 27 slash pound 979 slash g slash pound 185 servicing costs 349 pounds 3 yrs 499 pounds 3 yrs 700 pounds 3 yrs length slash wheelbase 4 comma 780 slash 2 comma 780 mm 
4,700-2,700mm. 4,695-2,670mm. Height slash width. 1,685-1,890mm. 1,675-1,880mm. 1,710-1,810mm. Engine. 4 CYL inline slash 2 comma 199 cc 4 CYL inline slash 2 comma 199 cc 4 CYL inline slash 2 comma 268 cc Peak power 197 slash 3 comma 800 bhp slash rpm 197 slash 3 comma 800 bhp slash rpm 148 slash 3 comma 500 bhp slash rpm peak torque 441 slash 1 comma 750 nm slash rpm 440 slash 1 comma 750 nm slash rpm 360 slash 1 comma 500 nm slash rpm transmission 6 spd auto slash 4 wd 6 SPD Auto Slash 4 WD 6 SPD Auto Slash 4 WD Fuel Tank Capacity Slash Spare Wheel 71 Liters Slash Repair Kit 64 Liters Slash Full Size 60 Liters Slash Space Saver Boot Capacity, Seats Up Slash Down 142 Slash 605 Slash 1,662 Liters and slash a slash 516 slash 1 comma 615 liters 128 slash 591 slash 1 comma 608 liters curb weight slash payload slash towing weight 1 comma 953 slash 667 slash 2 comma 000 kg 2 comma 003 slash 597 slash 2 comma 000 kg 1 comma 610 slash 650 slash 2 comma 000 kg turning circle 11.1 meters 10.9 meters 10.6 meters basic warranty miles slash recovery 7 yrs 100,000 slash 1 year 5 yrs unlimited slash 5 yrs 5 yrs 62,500, slash 3 YRS. Service interval slash UK dealers. 20,000 miles, 1 YR, slash 187. 10,000 miles, 1 YR, slash 173. 12,500 miles, 1 YR, slash 125. Driver power manufacturer slash dealer POS. 14th slash 9th 30th slash 23 rd 31 st slash 30th ncap adult slash child slash pet slash assist slash stars 90 slash 83 slash 67 slash 71 slash 5 2014 96 slash 89 slash 71 slash 86 slash 5 2012 94-83-64-100-5-2012 0-60-30-70mph 9.0-9.5-SECS 9.1-8.6-SECS 9.5-9.1-SECS 30-50 mph in 3RD-4TH 3.7-5.0 SECS 3.4-4.5 SECS 3.6-5.0 SECS 50-70 mph in 5th-6th 7.5-9.7 SECS 7.1-10.9 SECS 7.8-10.7 SECS Top speed slash RPM at 70 miles per hour. 124 mph slash 2 comma 0 0 0 RPM. 126 mph slash 2 comma 0 0 0 RPM. 
118 mph slash 1 comma 900 rpm braking 70 dash 0 slash 60 dash 0 slash 30 0 mph 48.4 slash 34.8 slash 8.9 m 52.5 slash 36.8 slash 11.4 m 54.6 slash 36.2 slash 10.8 m Noise levels outside slash idle slash 30 slash 70 mph 67 slash 45 slash 62 slash 70 dB 67 slash 55 slash 63 slash 70 dB 74 slash 53 slash 64 slash 73 dB Auto Express Econ, MPG slash MPL, slash range 35.6 slash 7.8 slash 556 miles 35.8 slash 7.9 slash 504 miles 43.6 slash 9.6 slash 575 miles Government urban slash extra urban slash combined 36.2 slash 47.9 slash 42.8 mpg 36.2 slash 47.9 slash 42.8 mpg 40.9 slash 54.3 slash 48.7 mpg Government urban slash extra urban slash combined 8.0 slash 10.5 slash 9.4 mpl 8.0 slash 10.5 slash 9.4 mpl 9.0 slash 11.9 slash 10.7 MPL Actual slash claimed CO2 slash tax bracket 213 slash 174 G slash KM slash 34% 211 slash 174 G slash KM slash 34% 174 slash 154 G slash KM slash 30% Airbag slash ISO fix slash park sensors slash camera 6 slash yes slash yes slash yes 7 slash yes slash yes slash yes 7 slash yes slash yes slash yes Auto box slash stability slash cruise control slash eb Yes slash yes slash yes slash no Yes slash yes slash yes slash no Yes slash yes slash yes slash yes Climate control slash leather slash heated seats Yes slash yes slash yes Yes slash yes slash yes. Yes slash yes slash yes. Metallic paint slash lead light slash keyless go. Pound 595 slash xenon slash yes. Pound 690 slash no slash no. Pound 550 slash yes slash yes. Sat NAV slash USB slash dab radio slash Bluetooth. Yes slash yes slash yes slash yes. Yes slash yes slash yes slash yes. Yes slash yes slash yes slash yes.